is holo chain on fire again and what is going on with bitcoin welcome back guys it's crypto Rocco here and in today's video i'll be doing a technical analysis update of the cryptocurrency market i'll be looking at the main coins like bitcoin ethereum xrp i'll also be looking at two coins that i've been trading and making some good profit and um, they are holo chain and link if you've been following me for the past couple of weeks we've been doing really well trading holo chain and uh, link i did take another trade on link recently i'll cover that also i'll be looking at a couple of coins my subscribers you guys have asked me to cover um gvt pondy x and some of the coins that you guys have requested i'll be looking at them as well so without further ado let's go look at bitcoin before looking at holo chain you guys you guys love holo chain i mean holo chain seems to be the most popular coin on my uh, channel it was xrp previously trx um, verge was a massive one last year now holo chain seems to be the flavor of the month so guys bitcoin um i did enter a trade here and um, as you know i've got a stop below the key point I'm looking at is, is this. I mean, I still haven't exited exited that position. If Bitcoin is it's a double top, there's the 200 hourly moving average. If Bitcoin can't get above it or if it shows weakness there, I might take some out. I'll see the wait for the price action. Um, but yeah, it's good to see Bitcoin has got some green candles today. But it's nothing. It's nothing big. I mean, we need to always zoom out. I sh to be honest, I, I should always start off with the the weekly chart to to give you guys an idea of what. Let's go on another. Or let's just hide all the drawing tools. And um, if you look at the weekly chart, we should always look at the higher time frame. And you see, it's in a very tight range. In a way, it's almost. It's not really moved much since 17th of December. It's in this range. So we need to always look at look at the uh, higher time frames. In a way, if this was a stock, I wouldn't be trading. As is Bitcoin, we all love Bitcoin. We look to trade it. And um, so that's the higher time frame. We need to always be uh, looking looking at the higher time frame. And even on the daily, if you look, guys, it's not really moved. You guys know my. Um, predictions i've shared with you some of my targets and what i'm looking for so that is what that is what bitcoin and um, some of the targets that i have got in mind is uh, we need to see if the previous hold uh, previous lows hold and the one target there is some resistance at this level the 3000 2000 3000 2900 level and then back down 1200 level we've got some strong support so again those are just, just some far away targets i'm going to look at it and talk about it in the future videos and i've shared with you some different scenarios in in few different videos my long-term predictions for bitcoin and what i am seeing and i've got my very long-term crazy prediction here as well i recommend you watch that so that's bitcoin guys ethereum i've not really been looking at ethereum or trading ethereum is same as bitcoin guys there's not too much to say in ethereum um a few people have complained that i move my charts too much so i'll try to uh, move my charts a bit less but as you can see guys ethereum i'll zoom in a little bit um it's in a very very tight zone we've got one two three four we've got almost five days um of trading inside this range i mean if if this range doesn't break I wouldn't look to trade this. Um, there's not nothing to trade unless it breaks out of this range. You could just wait. Um, you could also probably draw it as a wedge. But however you draw it, guys, unless this breaks this range, guys, I'm not looking to trade Ethereum. Side moving, RSI, everything's just very, very sideways movement. I'm not looking to trade this at all. Um, XRP, guys, I was I made a prediction on XRP. Again, I'm not. I don't change my predictions. I did say that I thought XRP would see this and it will go down it did go up but it broke through it with with a massive green candle i've tweeted about this i've talked about this now it's falling hard i knew it was going to fall but i thought it was going to hold this level um i've got this on my other chart that's the issue i've got two trading view accounts so it's difficult to have um, all the charts updated so I, I was looking at a 382 level to hold but it just fell down and now it, it gave us a false breakout again and it's holding above this level. Uh, this is the red zone that I've got. Um, hopefully, it can hold this level. It is a key zone. If it breaks below it and kind of give us a swing and it falls down, I mean, I, it's, it, you shouldn't be shorting coins at this level because you should have been shorting it up here. 
that's the place to short you shouldn't really be shorting coins here so again even if it looks bearish I might look to sell some of my holdings but I wouldn't really be shorting with any high margin it would only be a short term trade if I do short it so XRP I'm, I'm still unsure um, about it guys I'm, I'm not looking to trade I did say that green volume is it shows that bulls are around there's some really positive news about xrp maybe i'll make another video on xrp and um, i'll talk i'll do i will talk about litecoin i'm in a position on litecoin i really like litecoin and um, well i did like it a lot before um with the light pay stuff if you follow me before and um, but now the price action is looking slightly better than some of the other coins i got in you know this double bottom the 618 level um I'm still in this position. We had seen some green uh, green bars today, but it's not looking as great. I'm I'm not really gonna try and go into the shorter time frames unless it breaks this range. There's not really it's only range trading really. There's not much to to trade. Um, so that is what's going on with Litecoin. Let's look at the coin that everyone have been waiting for, Holo Chain. And look at Holo Chain, guys. Fifty percent up. Is it on fire or what? It's not actually 50%, but yeah, 35%. <laughs> it's nothing to laugh at, guys. And Holo Chain is just doing its thing, guys. You gotta this coin. People are looking at it a lot, and this is a coin that a lot of people are looking to trade. So this was my zone. My stop for Holo Chain is below here. Um, I've taken a lot of profit, but I'm still in 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 some position. I was the, for Holo Chain. I was looking at this level to hold. This was my zone that I was looking at. And it broke through and gained and um, jumped up massively. When this support was hold, I probably could have got into a position. I wasn't looking to trade it. Um, I, I didn't keep my eye on it. Uh, we could probably call it a head and shoulder. This is a bit of a funky chart. Um, I don't know if you can call this a head and shoulder, but yes, that, that could have been an entry point in Holo Chain if you was trading it. But I mean, I'm in a position still. I'm going to keep holding it. Just a red warning. I'd, I hate to warn about a coin that's going up like this because it could just keep going up and up. And here I took profits um, at the 1618 level. So I took profits here and then it gained. How much did it gain after I sold um, a big portion of my position? It went up another 40 percent so you can't really tell but if you look at how what bitcoin did you know it went to 20k fell hard and then it, it bounced and gave it like a lower high and then it broke so if it breaks this level and um, you might want to take some profits that that's all i'll say uh, that's what i'm looking at for holo chain I, 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 if it breaks above again i might be wrong we'll have to see how it plays out let the price action tell us give us more clues don't make decisions um v chain i've not really been looking at v chain link i did trade this coin today i've tweeted about this as well two of my favorite old coins guys chain link and holo chain they're on fire and on my channel i've been talking about holo chain and um chain link for a while three weeks ago four weeks ago i've been talking about these two coins and i said link link is probably the best looking uh, chart um in crypto when it broke above that level i talked about it um it has broken down and it's uh, this red uh, this red is strong support it's gotten above it and um, the main thing is can it hold above it uh, we'll have to see uh, that's the trade that i took it was a bit risky uh, but it's a coin that i like and um I wanted to take that trade and it, it is pro profitable. I'm still in this position. I've not taken any profit. I'm waiting to see how the price action plays out. It is looking a bit toppy, but I'll, I'm still in this position and I'm going to hold this position for now. Yeah, we'll have to see. It looks a bit toppy for now, Chainlink. But yeah, th those two coins, guys, there's th these two coins are giving us profit. If you look at any other coins, the market is quite... But Holo Chain and uh, Chain Link. Another coin is Electronium. It's not. It's not a coin that I'm trading at the moment, but it's a coin that you guys should be looking at because Electronium is is doing quite well. That's a double top. That it's a perfect double top if you see. Anyways, um, two coins that my subscribers have recommended is Pondex. If you look at so when I analyze a coin, I always start at a higher time frame. It's below the 12 moving average. You can see it tried it, it tried to get above it, boom, shut down. Trying to get above it, and we'll see what happens. Two coins that I like. If you look at there, I don't think I don't think the new coins you'll be able to see their weekly. Oh yeah, actually, sorry. Um, so you see weekly guys, we're above. Uh, the moving averages. Um, it's just a simple analysis that you can do yourself. 
Holo chain, boom, we are miles away. We've got to see a pullback. So you see that, guys, with with these two coins, and you look at this on a weekly. You can look at this chart and look at that chart. You should be trading those coins, not this coin. Yes, it can jump up, but it's it's not a coin that you should be looking at. Um, Pondex daily moving averages it has gone above the daily moving averages so if it gives us another break higher um, you could look look to potentially trade it but I would wait for it to break above the weekly moving average before I enter it because you can see it's getting rejected but on the daily it is looking good um, if it gets some volume and it breaks above it you could look to trade it it's not looking too bad guys I'm not gonna lie it is looking okay on a daily chart four hourly chart as well and um, you can see high low high high yes it's not too bad a uh, holo chain uh, sorry a uh, pundix so we'll have to see that the level that I am looking at probably would be if it can break you could enter here actually for a um, uh, let's have a look I wouldn't take this trade but it's a trade that you could look to trade it's not the best risk to reward 1.24 you can look to get this trade on um, but yeah wait for if you want high probability trades wait for it to get above the weekly moving averages then you can look to trade it but if you are if you own some now I wouldn't sell it um, like I said on a daily it doesn't look too bad so you can have your stop loss below here and um, and keep holding this coin if you own this it's not too bad Genesis guys uh, weekly is probably looking worse than than Pondex is below the moving averages daily flat moving averages so Pondex we were here and I'm, I'm saying can we break above it you can see it was trying to it had gave us a doji but not much action and it fell down and the, not much volume so yeah this is probably worse than Pondex it's not looking as great Genesis vision I don't really know too much about the fundamentals behind these coins. I have done research on Holochain and Chainlink, the two coins that I'm trading. Um, but yeah, it, I'll just be waiting on my hands, guys. Unless it breaks above that. For Pondex, you can also draw a trend line and take a trade if it breaks above it, which is a bit slightly higher risk. Um, but there is potentially support here as well where it's breaking out of. See, a Pondex is not a bad. I will keep an eye on it. You know, I'll draw this so I can remind myself and see how it plays out. If it does uh, break out, you could target. Well, you have to look at the move weekly moving averages, so that's the issue. Whenever you're below the weekly moving averages, it's always difficult to trade. So, you, if if it does break out, your target should be the daily weekly 20 moving average that's what well, that's what your target should be and which is also the uh, daily 200 moving average so that is what I'm looking at for Pondex is not as bad uh, GVT is not so good I've told talked about the coins some of the other coins it's been a long video guys I wanted to just do a, a end of week on a crypto analysis video I've been trading a lot of Forex guys and um, I might share with you some of my Forex trades uh, gold has been on fire guys gold is looking great uh, another tr trade I took NZD USD it's a trade that I took today on the four hourly so yeah it's just, it's just looking really good guys some of the coins on uh, in crypto but you can also uh, venture into other markets so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel and and comment on my youtube video if you want me to do another video on any coins let me know guys and um, follow me on twitter and on youtube i talk about coins i'm um, sorry bnb is another coin i've been looking at um, I didn't talk about it today. Um, I like the fundamentals behind it, and it, this is another coin that is doing really well. So keep an eye out for this coin. I'm still in this trade, as you can see from before. I covered this trade on my previous video, um, um, and I've talked about it on Twitter as well. So if you if you want if you have any questions, guys, email me below. My email address is below. If you want any mentoring or have any questions about it, you can email me, and I'll try to get back to you and help you out. And if you want to help me out, just 
turn on the notification button and subscribe to my channel it helps with the algorithm for a newer channel like myself if you get any value if you get one thing from this video i'll be a happy guy so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much